All right, guys. Well, here we are. Our first step in the process. You got your two by fours, all right? The measurements I took from, from the ETS headquarters say I have to have it's gonna, the backdrop, the whole length is gonna be seven feet. Now remember, when you're working with materials, let's say my two by four is seven feet, that doesn't mean I cut these at seven feet, depending on how I wanna build it. All right, my two by fours are gonna be in between the braces. So you have to subtract three inches from your length that you want because a two by four measures an inch and a half. All right, so you have to calculate that when you're cutting your, um, I guess your length, you have to add that. If not, it's gonna be three inches bigger than what it's supposed to be. And in Embrace the Suck headquarters, we don't have that much space, stand by. This is my first time doing this stuff on a tripod. I wanna to try to film the whole process this one time and I'll be walking you guys through it. So for that, I need three two by fours at 82 inches, all right? So now, don't forget, wear safety glasses. You know, usually they're clear and not dark, <clears throat> but you have your, let me see if I have it. Ooh, pencil, your square. I wanna mark my measurement at 82 inches. All right, and I need three of these guys. All right, and I get my square. Ugh. Mark it, and then with my circular saw, and I guess you can use your square. This is a kind of a tip and trick I've learned. Is you want to hold the square like this against said piece of stuff you're cutting and use your edge as a guide. It'll give you a straighter cut quicker, you know, but you could try to always follow the line. All right, so that's what I'm doing. So stand by for some noise. Now, at 82 inches, boom, on the money. What? Usually I have music in the background, but I don't want this video getting copyrighted. So, 82 inches, all right? That's gonna be my top support right here, like that. And then my two by fours are gonna go on this side and on the other side kind of build a frame just so you guys know what I want to be doing let me see if I can get out of frame real quick and show you something so this is what I'm gonna to try to build all right very loose very loose let's see how it goes let me cut another one at 82 inches you usually want white wood like the the pine the dry wood but this will last a lot longer. All right, 82 inches. All right. All right. All right, stand by. All right. This is why I wear a hat, guys. It's a place to hold my pencil. I don't have to think about it. All right. So let's see. Tip, oh, another tip and trick that, look, that I learned. When you're using your circular saws or saws in general, never start with the blade touching the material. Let it rev up to full speed before you start cutting. If not, this thing will, eat, well at least the battery powered ones, 
will not work. They'll kick off for safety. But let's say you're using a, a electric or yeah, a corded circular saw. Yeah, it's gonna to try to fight you through that material that could make the material fly up into your eyes. You could end up cutting the finger depending on what you're doing. And that doesn't just apply to circular saws. That applies to table saws and your miter saws. Really anything with a moving blade, you always want to rev up to full speed. So I'm not going to start it here and then push the trigger. Start it here, get full speed, and then I go. And then I go or else that'll... Oh, speaking from experience, guys. So I need one more. It's going to be pretty freaking big, man. All right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and take all my tools down all right um one thing i meant to cover and i'll probably make a separate video on this but i'll let you guys in these drills when you buy them they come with a little let me see if i have one in here mm, no these drills come with a two amp little tiny battery that's well and good for your diy stuff for your toolkit for your house that's fine, that's enough. You don't need any more than that. But when you do stuff with these high energy cutting tools, um, this, like say, the, the, and the Sawzall, or the reciprocating saw, jigsaw, you want power, constant power to the blade. If not, it'll ruin the cut, or possibly ruin whatever you're trying to cut, all right? Now, for me, I've upgraded all, uh, all of my batteries to the higher ampage. This is four, five. I used to have eight and twelves. Um, but these off-brand ones that I bought on Amazon, they work just as well. So, uh, not sponsored by them, but I have two of these off-brand ones that fit in my... Oh, shit. Yeah. In my drills, this is a, a let's see, it's seven and a half amp. That'll last a long time. But anyway, you want to, you want to, you want constant power. So the little two amp ones, the little batteries that it comes with, I'm not a fan of because they always tend to die at the worst times. All right, so we have one more to go. We have another 82 inch two by four to cut. All right. Oh shit, 82 inch. All right. And I was just thinking, I don't think my truck is big enough to put this in the bed. So we're gonna see how that goes. Let me check something real quick because now I'm thinking about the project. I hope this is, Four feet, man. Okay, four feet. All right, so that means both of them together to make eight feet. But I hope you guys like this new setup, this new backdrop. It's gonna look kind of cool. It's a little dark, but it's not gonna be in the, it's not gonna be absorbing too much light. You always, when you're doing this hack, you wanna always pull and push. All right, and you want to always put your square on the larger piece, all right? If not, this will start bending and yeah, it gets pretty nasty if you don't do it right. But we're gonna save the cutoffs for braces and shelving. So that's another thing you stand by for. So let me cut this guy. Just so you guys know, we are working on this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, which I haven't cut yet.
Yeah. So I need four, not three. No, I need three. My bad, guys. So I need 82s here, here, and here. 82 inches. All right, these guys are going to be my true seven-footers, which is going to be the next step. I just need two of them. So let me inspect what I'm cutting real quick before we join. You guys told me joining is its, is its own job. It's its own trade. So there's no, not going to be any wood glue here. Just screws to hold all this stuff together. I'm a, I'm a fan of screws and nails. I would use screws because you can unscrew screws. Nails, yeah, no, that's not fun. So let me just inspect my wood. Let's see which side is a little bit better. Sometimes this wood now this comes all jacked up. And when you're dealing with pressure treated wood, I don't know what you guys can see, but some of this stuff is warped. So we're gonna try not to use the warped wood. I might use these two right here. Pressure treat is not usually the prettiest wood, to be honest. And I'm gonna have to go and leave you guys for a little bit to get some more wood. So, but not yet though. Let me cut, let me go ahead and cut these. See, not really, not really the prettiest. It's all jacked up, but listen, it's just for a backdrop, not really to support any weight. But you definitely, you definitely want to uh, always build something that isn't a safety hazard. All right, so we're going to go a true seven feet. All right, eighty-four inches, blah blah blah, four inches, blah, blah, blah. inches. All right. space as you work leaves you less to trip over later okay so these are my seven footers so now the part about putting them all together all right let me just see let me just think about what I'm trying to do real quick all right so let me try to move my tripod we'll do this stuff on the floor some more Put it right there. All right, let's see. We're assembling it right there. Okay. These are my sides. Put that messed up piece at the bottom. For the sake of the video, that'll be my bottom. And this is my top. So square surface. All right. Now this is 
are. Oh my god, this is gonna be massive, man. This is gonna be a massive backdrop. So, let's go ahead and start joining. Oh, yes. Let's see what I can do. All right. All right. All right. Now let's do the next one over there. I'll do the top and bottom, all right? Because there's a detail on our plans that I want to make sure I get right, especially the height part. So we'll do top and bottom, and we'll have our little frame. Yay! Now let's do the bottom part. Same thing. Same thing, same way. All right, guys. Ooh, itch. We go same way. All right. Cool. Now. Make sure it's flush. That'll help with our shells. Make sure shit is square. I know there's a little bit of dead space and you're like, why the hell am I watching this guy just screw wood together? Well, it's part of me making the background for Embrace the Sucker. <laughs> That's all I can do. I don't know if I'm on screen, probably not. But it's only gonna be for a short second, guys. All right. go so corners are screwed together let's see now so in our embrace the suck uh, storage unit our headquarters we have things that are on the bottom this is the floor embrace the sucks floor we have things that we are going to use on the bottom of this I guess wall the backdrop to hold this thing together as well as some braces 16 inches is what i got all right and i have to do some angle bracing with some of the two by fours which is going to be our extra all right so now i'm going to go two feet measure two feet from the bottom and put my other brace there all right 
That's the next step. That's what's going in the middle of this thing. All right. All right, all right, all right. So since all my measurements are from the bottom, let's see. Two feet from the bottom. Mm. We're gonna go two feet from the top of the two by four. So if we go two feet plus an inch and a half, that's where we're gonna go. All right, that's gonna be the bottom. I'll, I'll, I'll show you two feet plus an inch and a half, so 25 and a half inches. And that'll be the bottom of our two by four, which will be right there, all right? And this space, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bottom space that we will uh, put our, I guess, Spencer's uh, music gear in. It'll, it'll, it'll just fit. So we said 25 and a half. On the other side, we mark 25 and a half. All right. Let me see if I'm on the screen. Hold on, 25 and a half. Let me see if I'm on the screen real quick. <clears throat> Let me see if you can see my measuring tape. Kind of. All right. All right. So there we go. It works. All right. Let's get this. This guy. This is gonna go in the middle. Oh, I think it's gonna look nice, man. I think it's gonna look very nice. And this will help with some structure. I'll help hold the boards together so it's not warping. Let me get some more screws. All right. All right, let me get this. I'm gonna scoop the whole frame back a little bit. A little bit. Oh, this is gonna be a heavy freaking backdrop. Oh no. I might have to get Spencer over here to help me move it. I'm not too wild about, honestly. I mean, they get the job done. All right, but it's, it's all right. All right, so now for the next side. Same thing. All right. Do, do, do. On the side and a half. All right. So. Garage floor has a little bump. All right, let me uh, mark this guy real quick. Over here. Do, do, do. All right. All right. Let me pre-drill or prep. Let me just start it. All right. So since our panels are gonna not go like that, 
So the appearance is going to be horizontal. I have to cut this in half and we're going to throw our panels up this way. All right. So do, do, do. make sure. So we need one more. We're going to put one more in the middle guys, in the middle of this frame. All right. And that's going to hold our panel, our seam together. So it's not all just wobbling. All right. So, is come on, and that little things. All right, all right, there we go. All right, Three and a half, so three and a half, three and a half. So let's go three and a half and then three and a half feet to get this thing ready. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. And that's going to be in the middle of my brace. All right, same thing on this side. All right. Always double check. All right. There we go. All right. Now, my last two by four. and a quarter 55 and a quarter all right all right 55 and a quarter quarter so now come here we we'll need our screws so this piece of two up four is broken on the end so when we cut it from that end we're cutting that end off so 55 and a quarter is what we need about a quarter, all right, all right, a quarter, about a quarter, here we go, all right, let's bring our sawhorse a little bit closer, all right, that's what we need on that end. Let me, let me just move this right, right to where I need it. This will be the seam for our panels. Let's share this. All right, there is a good side. So now let's take our square and our screws and our drill, which is already over there. All right. All right. Do do do. So, it's a little tight, it's all right. All right. That's not bad there. All right, cool. Now for shits and giggles, put your square in your corner, 
make sure there's no play. But then again, then again, you got to make sure the lumber you're working with is straight. So, <laughs> yeah. I would never use pressure treated lumber on in the inside of the house. This is great for exterior stuff. I have a lot of plans coming through for setting up my uh, my burn pit area out there to have make it a, a fun hangout place. We'll be using a lot of pressure treated, actually only pressure treated. All right, all right, now we screw it from the top. All right. Fuck. Yes. Now you don't want to drive the screw all the way in. Okay? You have a better chance of breaking the screw head off. All right. So now that's our base. That's our our frame, I guess. We still have other stuff to do, but for the time being, you got your you got your frame down. Now is the fun part. Now, we cut the panel, all right? All right, here we go. Let's take some measurements. Where's my notepad? Like I said, guys, it's always good to have a bunch of notepads. All right, so I'm gonna cut my 42 and a half. 42 and a half. I need two 42 and a halves by what? 58 and a half. All right, those are my squares. Take my pad, write it down. All right, we got, let's go over here. 42 and a half by, one more time. <clears throat> One more time, 58 and a half light. Ooh, that hurt. Oh my God, that was awesome. 52 and a half light. Light means <sighs> take a 16th off the measurement. Let me just double check something. 58, yeah. Let's go 58 and a half. Forget the light, 58 and a half. It's gonna go 58 and a half strong. That's good, not heavy. Now we use our saw horses to cut our panel. All right, let's do that. All right, here we go. Ooh, and I'll tell you about the paneling. Make sure. All right, here we go. All right. Right. Now this panel, <laughs> oh, it's not the best. Very flimsy. Um, you know what, guys? Stand by. Let me go get something. I think. Yep. Give me, give me a sec. Right. All right. Had some more two by fours. Now we're gonna shove these guys underneath. Make our panel a little more rigid. All right. There we go. Make sure we're good on that end. All right, this is gonna bite me in the butt because I 
apparently work on that side. Shit. All right, it is what it is. So, let's go to refer to our notes. So we want 42 and a half wide. Now remember, our boards are gonna go this way, all right? Not, not up and down like this. So I need 42 and a half wide. Let's make that real quick. 42 and a half wide. All right. Let's go here. Maybe two and a half. Pencil's gonna be very hard to see on this. Let's go here. Or two and a half wide. Boom. All right. And now 52 and a half tall. Let's go 52 and a half tall. All right, on that side, let me get over here. Oh, <laughs> all right. So, this is the fun part. Oh my God, this is gonna, this is gonna be fun. Oh. Right. Do the same thing over here. Jesus, there it is. All right. So, 52 and a half tall. 52 and a half. Oh, da, da, da. All right. Got our nice. What? All right. So, personally, guys. I would use a chalk line, but well, my chalk line is in the shed. So, and if you get chalk lines, if you're, let's say, invested in the carpentry DIY you know, stuff, I would both buy a red and blue chalk line for things like this. All right, this is where my four foot level comes in handy, right here. And now, based on the sunlight hitting this, I assume my line is here. And let's just go here real quick. All right. All right. All right. Shift. Start marking it. solid building material. I guess we would call it like a type of a wainscoting. I think I just saw my wife run out of here. All right. Okay, now, ooh, just go pick up my son. Now when you're cutting this stuff, all right, there's a couple ways to do it. All right, if this wasn't just a backdrop and I had to install this kind of, this specific material, I would cut everything from the back because my blade cuts up, goes up. So when you're cutting like a finished material, if your blade isn't super sharp and it starts going up like this, you're gonna rip the finish coat off it or the laminate or whatever it is. You'll bust through it and it'll chip. Another way you can blue tape it and score it with the box cutter to prevent it from chipping. All right. Um, or just flip this material over and cut it and do your marks. But this time 
we're gonna see what we got. Safety glasses on. Oh, also, you want to set your depth on your saw, all right? You don't want it, let me see, can you see the edge of it? No. So, the material that we're cutting isn't that thick, so I'm setting it to barely be able to get through the machine, or the, the material. Oh, shit, wow! Woo! Excuse me. Oh, yes, yeah, sawdust, love it. All right. Let me do this. Let me finish scoring my line. Cause this is just waste right here. Oh, it's 12. All right. All right. All right. Safety glasses is on. It's gonna be very dim. Gray on gray with gray glasses. Yes. Fucking awesome. Let's see. What we can do here let's see what it does all right it's not doing that bad all right when you stop you need to pull it back a little bit. Same kind of concept, all right, guys? All right, since I'm not a freak or a giant, I'm gonna come this way. And yes, I am nicking the, the two by fours that I put in there for rigidity, all right? All right. All right, let's go right here. So anyway, guys, let me build this and I'll get back on and show you the finished product. 